folks and welcome back to my channel. Now if this is the first time you're tuning into my channel please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, I kind of give reviews on movies, TV series and now uh, reality TV shows. Yes. Um, now you girls not feeling well today. I wasn't entirely sure whether I was going to do a video today because yes dead in the midst of summer I've got a cold. Now yesterday it was a hot mess. Literally my... Uh, I had the most itchy, awful, painful sore throat. I could hardly speak. I, my nose was running like the Azores. I was literally waiting and hoping for five o'clock just to hurry up, please, I need to go home. And so I got home, got into my snug, well, had a shower, got into my snug and took my night nurse and just went to, and just fell asleep. Um, but waking up this morning, you know, I thought, you know, I haven't really caught up on my Love Island. I haven't watched the last two episodes. So I thought, okay, let me just wrap up and just watch my Love Island, you know, have a bit of, had my popcorn, had the munchies. I, don't, I know it's not helpful for you when you have a cold, but work with me, just work with me. Anyway, so it was the recoupling episode, the first recoupling episode. And let me tell you, child i literally rose up from my snug literally it was biblical it was like on the third day she rose up according to the scriptures child i was in shock and awe i did not expect that to happen i mean kendall's gone now let's just give a bit of background about this here love island i wasn't i'm not really a reality show kind of girl i am literally everyone knows i'm a marvels chick movie chick dc chick and netflix series documentaries that's me i haven't even watched love and hip-hop and even though everyone's telling me look my, luna love and hip-hop is brilliant you've got to watch it you've got to watch it i just don't have the time but you know i was persuaded to watch love island i miss series one um Series two, I thought, okay, okay, I'm gonna give it a try. So, first episode of Love Island 2017, I was literally captivated. It was such an intriguing watch. The cast, brilliant. I literally cried with the cast members. I got angry over certain things that happened. I was, it was such a compelling watch. I was on Twitter, like, giving my views and whatnot. It was like, I was so engrossed and invested in this TV show, this reality TV show, and I never thought, what's like, what's going on? It's like, I was literally possessed. I mean, last year was just, I mean, it won so many TV awards, and I'm not surprised. I understand it even won an, uh, a BAFTA. I am not surprised. Um, so I'm kind of merging into the reality shows to see what, what else is out there. But Love Island 2017 is brilliant. I've heard that the first series is even better than the second. But the second really both, I mean, it just literally won several t quite well-deserved TV awards. So, as you can imagine, I was so looking forward to Love Island 2018. Oops, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I was looking forward to Love Island 2018. And you know what? Love Island was serving me with the girls. The girls are literally stunning, stunning. I mean, Haley. I was flabbergasted. How in the how in this universe is that chick single? How is it possible that a guy was having affairs, was like, and dumped her? I mean, how is that possible? And Kendall, um, Samira, all of these gorgeous chicks. I'm like, what in the world? But Love Island, they're serving me with the hot chicks. I mean, I was impressed, okay? Um, the guys, so-so, oh, but I have to say, Love Island, it didn't give me that bite this year. You know, I wasn't invested as much as I was with the first episode of last year. And I was like, you know, it's kind of lackluster. I mean, it was like kind of giving me last of the summer wine type of teas. I was like, listen, you, you better give me that bite soon because the World Cup is around the corner. And honey, when the World Cup is on, everything else is off. Okay, so Love Island, I need for you to pick up, pick up. So as I say, wasn't feeling well yesterday, got home. Took my night nurse, got into bed, switched on Love Island this morning. Whoa, and yes, I got the bite, okay? I got the bite that I was waiting for. That recoupling, I was so shocked that Kendall went home. I was actually expecting, <laughs> as much as I love Hayley at times, and I, lo I think her accent is adorable, sometimes she could be a bit too much on the bitchy side. I mean, <laughs> it's like she's literally irritated 
by Yao's presence. And all of a sudden, when the recoupling was announced, I mean, this is a chick who would hardly remember the guy's name. And when the recoupling was announced, it was like, oh, I need to speak to Yao. It's like, uh, excuse me? I was like, girl, <laughs> you are so contrived. I mean, uh, I, I just wasn't here for it. But at the recoupling, he picked her. And I just thought, you know what? Yeah, I've got a dressing down from the producers. Like, look, you better pick this chick. She's the most gorgeous thing in this house. That's my only explanation for that. Because I do not understand how a girl could be so, like, dismissive of you. And you just pick her anyway. And as for... Is it... And, um, what's his name? Andrew? Well, I call him... I nicknamed him the 42-year-old. The guy who's apparently 22 and who stole Kendall off Nile. The guy, he is gorgeous, don't get me wrong. The guy is chiseled, bronzed and gorgeous, but the man, he's 22? Child, he looks 42, he can pass for 42. I mean, the youngest I will place him is at least 32, but to me, he just looks 42. But, I mean, what does he look like at the age 18? But anyway, he goes and picks Rosie, and so Kendall is left, and it's adios, Kendall. I was like, are you for real? Kendall is so gorgeous. She is so... I mean, yeah, she did cry a lot, and I was thinking, you can understand why Eyal didn't pick her, because in the day, if Eyal picked Kendall, it would literally be... It would literally be him trying to romance a girl who's crying over another man. I mean, I'm going to insert the recoupling moment when she left the last the last picking of when she left check it out to go yes it's the name of the game but i just didn't expect to be kendall so soon um as for the couples that i do like i really like jack and danny i thought when they kissed last night it was so cute and when danny was like as you felt like megan and walking down the aisle while everyone was like cheering when they finally kissed and got over their their scrubbles um who else do i like uh niall and georgia georgia's quite impressive i mean she's what how old 18 19 very confident chick, really like her. Um, Samara is lovely. I mean, you know, I understand why everyone was so upset about Alex kind of like being jilted by all the girls. He's kind of lost his mojo. Um, but at the same time, the same thing has happened really to Samara. Nobody's picked her. Um, they kind of got coupled together in a very awkward fashion because nobody picked them. So, but Samara's handled herself with grace. Um, I love the way, even yeah, she doesn't fancy Alex, but she's not being derogative towards him. She's still pleasant to be around. Um, she recognised the errors of her ways and um, thought she's going to be a bit more friendly. And I appreciate that. You know, she's representing well. Um, and Charles, she's gone out with um, Chris Pine. I was like, go ahead, girl. But I didn't see any paparazzi pictures. So how long was this relationship? But anyway, I digress. Um, who else do I like? What else do I like? Um, that's basically it. So now there's three new contestants going into the house. Ah, uh, yes. Now I'm hoping they're going to bring the comic relief because I feel that's what's missing with this current series of Love Island. Um, yeah, I mean, they look gorgeous. Uh, I'm happy that a Londoner's going in. Um, he looked kind of cute, I have to say. So I'm just hoping that they'll bring the comic relief. Um... So yeah, also, another thing that's kind of pointed, something that many of my friends kind of pointed out, the guys this year, dare I say, I hate to compare to last year, but the guys this year, they're not as, as I mean, they're good looking, but they're not as groomed as last year. I mean, last year we had Kem, Chris, Muggy Mike, um, Marcel, and Dom. I mean, these guys, they were like fashion forward. I mean, at times they look better than the girls in, in that series. Um, in this series, the girls are just mind-blowing. 
um but they need to pick up with the men and i need to see the men like get snatched with the fashion because i'm not really seeing that grooming apart from um andy or andrew <laughs> who his name is um aka the 42 year old now don't get it twisted the guy is stunning he really is stunning but he just doesn't behave like a 22 year old he's so mature um I didn't like what he did um, in playing the, those two minutes he did, and I didn't. I, I didn't really appreciate the text in that night. I was so happy that Rosie didn't get up and go to the to the couch. I was like, "Girl, don't you do? Do not do, girl." I was like, literally speaking to her from my through my Mac this was, as I was watching it. I was like, "Don't you get up?" I was so happy she didn't go to his bed. That would have been no. Anyway, um, yeah, he's the only one who's kind of given me the standard of. 2017 um in terms of grooming and everything else i do love jack jack is really cute but the other guys mm, you know but we shall see you know it's only early days um but as i say love island you gotta keep the momentum going um sorry my code i mean thus far you know it's been a bit it's a slow grower i have to say the recoupling episode it got my attention hence this video but I need you to keep it going, keep that momentum. Um, yeah, so that's all I can say about that. Um, so what, what do you guys think? Who's your favourite? I mean, overall, my favourite guy has to be Jack. Overall, my favourite girl... <sighs> it might have to be Danny, you know. It might have to be Danny. Um, I love Samara, but um, yeah. But we'll see. I, what do you guys think? I mean... <sighs> That was a shocking episode. I just wasn't expecting Kendall to go. But anyway, that's the end of my my commentary, my episode. That's the end of my commentary on Love Island. Sorry, my nose is starting to run again. I've got to sort myself out. Um, yeah, so I'm going to enjoy the rest of the day. The, um, it's going to be 25 degrees today. So cold or no cold, I am getting myself out there. I'm going to enjoy the day. And um, I wish you guys a happy Saturday. As I say, please subscribe to my channel and please tune in on my next video. And uh, yeah, I'm going to enjoy the day and I wish you a happy Saturday. Um, minus the code. Alright, take care, bye.